the New Year weekend, the Ferris State hockey team flew to Minneapolis, Minnesota to take part in the 20th annual Mariucci Classic hosted by the University of Minnesota Golden Gophers. In the first game on Friday, December 31st, the Bulldogs dropped a close 3-2 decision to the Bemidji State University Beavers. Fair State then scored off against the tournament host to start the new year on Saturday, January 1st, 2011. The Bulldogs were in the lead throughout the entire game, but ended up in a 2-2 tie. Tournament rules stated that the game would go into a shootout if tied up after overtime, which would most likely have benefited the Bulldogs. Minnesota head coach Don Lucia chose to opt out of the shootout and call it a game. Well, it was uh, there was nothing to play for at, at that point in time. There's no points in the standing. There's no trophies or anything else. So um, uh, I'm not a huge fan of shootouts to begin with. Um, so um, I mean, even the way we've set it up in the past, that uh, you know, basically this became the third place game, and that was it. Fair State hockey head coach Bob Daniels agreed and stated he was fine with the decision as well. I thought there would be a shootout. Yeah, um, I thought just because it was a tournament that. that uh, it was supposed to be played out, but I'm fine with it either way. So was I mean, we're, I, for us, we're used to it, though. I mean, we, we do shootouts all the time, so it's not a big deal. We just, you know, but, but uh, I'm okay with it either way. There are 58 teams throughout Division I college hockey. The top 20 teams get ranked each week in the USCHO.com poll. With the one goal loss to the Beavers on Friday and the tie to the Golden Gophers on Saturday, Fair State dropped from 18th last week to 20th this week in the national rankings. The Bulldogs will be on the road again this weekend to face off against Central Collegiate Hockey Association rival, the Bowling Green State Falcons. The two squads have met a total of 108 times so far, with Bowling Green having a 52, 45, and 11 record in the all-time series. Last year, Fair State swept the Falcons 5-1 on November 6th and 3-2 the following night on November 7th. Sophomore forward Travis Olette tallied three of the eight goals that weekend with Justin Menke, Brett weiss and Matt Kruzinger also adding one apiece. On the road in Bowling Green, Ferris State has recorded a 19-31-5 record, but is 7-4-2 in its last 13 appearances on the Falcon Ice. Nine of the last 13 games at BGSU have been determined by one goal, while two outings have been overtime encounters. Both games this weekend can be heard live on the radio on 1460 AM and 107.7 FM WBRN, and as always, online at FerrisStateBulldogs.com. The Saturday night contest will be televised live on the Buckeye Cable Sports Network, and both games will have live in-game stats online. If you cannot catch the game on the radio or television, twitter.com slash ferrisathletics and twitter.com slash ferrishockey will have up to the second live tweets going all weekend long. For more information, video highlights, and news articles, ferrisstatebulldogs.com is always one click away.